lack of a concentration people can never able to meditate. Very difficult to meditate. Meditation, uh, particularly wisdom meditation, is based on based on stable uh, concentration. Um, uh, without wisdom, nothing, nothing really can do well. In order to gain uh, with wisdom, you have to have a good, stable, concentration, concentrated mind. She never told them that how long you more number and jump by she and Thomas she never says says us. Though between the the concentration, what we call it, shamada, and the vipassana, the wisdom looking inside, and, and they're talking about it. Such a wisdom <laughs> will never be developed without concentration shamada, concentrated shamada. And all intelligent people should know, uh, sh should know, know, and uh, the the wisdom with the concentration can destroy all our negative emotions and negativities, and it is it is a source and it is consequences. So first find shamada, which means at least find focusing finding concentration. And concentration is really thinking, focusing thinking, not like a, not like a hanging bird. Pip, 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 pip. No, hanging birds, hanging birds even then can sit for a while and uh, suck the nectar out of a flower, even though they're beep, 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 beep. But if your life is like beep, 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 and all that away, <laughs> if you are becoming Mr. Hanging Bird, and then, then it is really a totally lack of thinking, lack of concentration. Uh, so I'm giving you those examples, and I even try to, to wave my hands and all that, and uh, try to say, try to tell you what not to do. Uh, it's not that you copy it. Uh, do it what not to do. And uh, these are the these are the problem in your life. Not only you, of course, is a problem for your spiritual part, but even your normal, ordinary life. This is a problem. This is problem. Uh, many people don't think. Then some people who can think a certain subject, some people that person cannot think a certain subject. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But if you can think one uh, subject well, and you, I don't mean you can specialize, but you can make your living. You can get your job done. You can, you can fulfill your responsibility, both spiritual as well as daily life. So, so it is important, important. So concentration. Concentration also, also, so not, what we are talking here is not a simple concentration. We are talking about a total focus. Total focusing can never come if you do not know how to concentrate. After concentration, focusing, and then total focusing. Total focusing means whatever subject you are thinking, you will be able to pin pointedly think without interruption, without interruption. 
And if you think I have to t beginning people, you know, okay, I can think about 10 minutes. Forget it. No way. No way. Even the experts have it difficult to focus for 10 minutes. Not even possible. Not even a two minutes. Actually, you should think about it five seconds. If you can focus in five seconds on the subject, you, you have a big surprise. You find a lot of ways and means to handle problems. You have a lot of ways and means uh, to function. Big surprise. Those surprises are result of your concentration. You're not going to find anything if you do not know how to concentrate. That is important. And most of you know that because many of you are specialized, professional. And almost every professional know how to function, how to do, how to act, how to think, how to manage. So you don't have those problems. But people, some people do have a problem, especially younger ones, do have a problem of a focusing, concentrating. So as it's really focusing, concentration, you have to learn like a, like a two seconds here, three seconds there, and so everywhere, you know, when you're going here and there. That doesn't mean while well, you go walking in the middle of the road and then you say, I have to concentrate and to stop your car in the middle of the highway and then say, I have to concentrate and then the next person will concentrate you on your back, on your body. <laughs> so, so don't do that. But everywhere, save and the will you are thinking and keep, you know, Give yourself a little bit of a thoughts here and there and uh, stable, stabilize your thought, uh, honestly. Uh, because the mind is such, it runs. If you let it go, it will go non-stop. Everywhere, wherever you go, ooh, it will go. No, really, really non-stop, it will go. Because all kinds of PBS imprint, all kinds of memories, all kinds of ideas, all kinds, the mind will follow because it's mind. And that's why early teachers give an example of a monkey in the temple. Right? Monkey in the temple. So the monkey will, if your monkey is in the temple, it will look up and down, jump from image from one image to another image and knock down whatever there to be knocked down including butter lamps and you know I may may catch a fire or do you know you never know you know there's a there's a fire and there's a fat butter lamp and then you throw them out it'll burn for sure that's why and then the monkey will eat anything they can jump anything anywhere and our minds are like that, goes anywhere. And sometimes we call that intelligent too. So I think you really have to, to know uh, what is true intelligence is. Um, witty is another one. And the mind is such a capable of being witty. Well, witty, right? can think of all kinds of things. It is sometimes good to find uh, better solutions, better resolutions. And the witty is something that you definitely have to use it. You have to keep it, you have to use it. Lack of wittiness is dull. Honestly, it's a dull. It's a dullness. Dullness doesn't have to be only, only sort of completely collapsing and uh, I can't think anything else and uh, all that you doesn't have to be. Lack of wittiness 
is dull. And yes, yet you have to know enough what to choose out of all this wittiness provide you all kinds of thoughts and ideas. And uh, how do you choose them? Suitability is your goal. Suitability. Easier to solve a problem. Quicker, easier, quicker. And all these are your priorities. So put your priorities together. Get your idea uh, which will supply what? Easy, quick. All of those are you need it. And particularly we are living in such a time today. Such a time today, you know. We everybody knows what had happened. They may happened something happened anywhere. Almost the next minute, everybody will know what is happening. Good or bad, all of those, all of those. So, you know, it's this a it's just, it's just 24 hour news circle, uh, which makes our life very different than those good old evening news or morning newspapers. Uh, you know, that's, that's at least reasonably relaxed life. Uh, today, uh, no. Everything is within the minute. By the way, and we will all we, we knew the moment the Supreme Court made decision about uh, the Obamacare. Everybody knew immediately. Even though you are not watching TV, even though you are not listening to radio by the mouth of the people, we, everybody knows. So, so does the LGBT decision, which both of them should congratulate uh, people. Though a lot of people think this LGBT is, uh, is, is a lot of people think they're wrong, but that is their conservative thinking or their old-fashioned thinking, they cannot keep up their mind up to date. That's their problem. But a lot of people think something great has done. No, nothing great has done. Simply, you give those people equal right as you and I have. The LG people, you give equal right, which is people should be entitled as if you are American, you should be entitled for everything. So that entitlement, which is somehow society holds back, has been restored. And nothing great has given. I mean, it is good, no doubt. But nothing great has done. They have got, they have got their right, which they are entitled, should have been for years and ages and they just got it. Hopefully, be able to maintain every part of the state. So, uh, that, uh, that's, uh, that's that. And the people should really, uh, because of this, uh, what I'm talking about, it, this, all these things happen, well, such a life, and where everything is uh, totally totally annoying by everybody all the time, which means our mind is much, much busier. And all our this junk informations are totally filled up. Actually, if you look, say if you're looking for certain informations and um, Sometimes, if you look at the right place, yes, you get it. But I was not looking at the right place. I was looking, uh, two days ago, I was looking at the Supreme Court decision. I was seeing which judge is the tipping point. I did not know it is Justice Kennedy. I did not know that time. And I, was, I, I spent an hour to, to listening 
between the Fox News, CNN, and, and, and MSNBC, and all that. And what information I got it? Full of junk. <laughs> Honestly, full of junk. Lot of, lot of commercial. <laughs> the commercials will be louder, and the commercials will be, be hit you stronger. So if you, if you try to review back, what did you see, learn? And you get all these commercials one after the another pop up in your head. Uh, so I didn't learn it is Justice Kennedy until I saw another uh, is this, uh, Al Jazeera or something. Uh, so I saw another one, then they showed the picture how it is similar. <laughs> that took me an hour to find, you know. I didn't ask anybody. I didn't, I couldn't look in the internet or I couldn't look in, I mean, could have easily, you know, but I don't see it well, so I don't. So I keep on watching the TV, <laughs> that source of information, and you spend one hour to find that out, and I have a lot of junk filled up in your mind. So, so much junk is a, really knocking all your senses in front of us all the time. Hearing, seeing, smelling, touching, everything is junk. So at this moment, if you do not know how to concentrate, you are depriving yourself a great opportunity. Opportunity to not to be great, but to live a normal life, to be a normal person, to be the to be the right person to the next door neighbor type, you know, to be to be the next door neighbor type. Never time, yeah. And that's a normal person. So it for need little more concentration. Then to go beyond that, you need a focusing. To go beyond that, you need a, you need this shamatha development. And that is one of these uh, three important uh, points that the Buddha said you have to train yourself. Again, morality, concentration, and wisdom. So if you wanted to know more detail about focusing and concentration and meditation, then we do, I have transcripts called a GOM, that is G-O-M, it is meditation. Apparently, in my opinion, I'm blowing my own trumpet. In my opinion, this is one of the best uh, meditation handbook available in English, based on true tradition, experience of many people. So you people have that opportunity available with you. Thank you so much.